Hello and welcome to the guide of, according to most people, the strongest weapon in the game, the M1919. In this guide I will help you with the gun's mods, with ideas for more setups, to give you more flexibility and utility with the gun. If you are only interested in one part of the video, there is timestamps to use as always. The best setup for M1919 in my opinion is the sight, field trigger job, light and spring, stainless steel barrel. This is the only automatic gun that can 3 hit kill the torso without any damage mods, even without the chrome line barrel. The gun can easily handle medium ranges without much issue, and an accuracy badge is not required, because tug bullets are sufficient. Hence, I recommend to go for fast reload, but that I can be nice at times as well. If you take the dead eye, uh, it will help you a little bit with the visibility and gives you slightly more accuracy but sacrifices the obvious fast reload so it's a stylistic choice. The only real downside with the 1919 is the sights. As is tradition I tested Talgrip vs Deadeye and it seems to me that there is a little accuracy difference between the two. But, as always, you get uh, a slight hip fire bonus with Deadeye, and considering how bad the sight is, it's kind of a obvious choice. However, that leaves the question of is it even worth it to get any accuracy boosting badge at all? In any case, here is the difference of Deadeye and no Deadeye, and the only noticeable thing that I could see is that there is slightly lower horizontal recoil and the shots are a bit tighter. This is where you really need to think how often you reload, and to be frank, I use either one of these badges, that being the delay or the fast reload, depending on the situation, and I actually recommend you try them both before making a decision. M1919 is an LMG with 7 equipment points, meaning you need to be a bit more creative with badges to get more setups out of it. The standard Hoarder Gold, 0 pouches M1919 and 0 pouches Bazooka or Panzershrek setup works really well, but personally I recently noticed that I like a first aid badge which is very useful because I heal more when I reload, and the times to get those things off are about the same. Especially it's useful when you're playing masses of recon, which is pretty much every match nowadays in war. You can also run a pistol if you need a sidearm and still put a medpack. This is achieved by putting 1919 to one ammo pouch and getting a pocket pistol or a revolver with one ammo pouch. In any case, the gun can have much utility because it doesn't require a badge and the sky is the limit. Personally, I recommend if you're in a planet at the very least to get a mechanic gold badge with the 1919. There is not that much of a difference whether you crouch or standing, and hipfire is above average compared to other weapons. Also, you can't strafe much while spraying, and in that way it handles more like a DP28 or like other standard LMGs. I recommend tapping targets since you require 3 hits to the torso and losing your target with these sights is really easy. Although spray is really reliable to the gun even at medium ranges. If you lose a target, hip fire might help out in a panic situation. However, if you have dead eye, having the first couple of bullets be hip fire will help you out seeing the target easily, even if he strays to the side, and then you can continue the spray or tap with ADS. In any case, this gun is pretty easy to use if you can get around the sights and play with it more often. That is how